Hi there, my name is Ryan. Uh, we're going to be creating a project here in Unity that leverages uh, both the digitally human Ethan from the uh, standard assets that are available from Unity, as well as the IBM Watson SDK. Uh, we'll do a multi-part series here. All we want to do right now is get a, a plane established, uh, get a, an avatar digital human on it, running around, and then wire in some basic IBM um, speech-to-text capabilities. And to do that last one, we'll, we will use the IBM Watson SDK. Uh, so to begin, let's uh, put our scene here. And let's grab a game object and give something for our, our digital human to stand on. So let's create a plane here. And let's fatten that up a little bit to give us room to run around. Here we are. Uh, now we've got somewhere to stand. Let's create a digital human. Let's go down in here to Assets, Import, Package, and Import the Characters. And here we are. This is part of the standard asset library. As that comes in, once it does, we'll, we'll drill down into it and find the third-person controller. Uh, that's going to be within the assets here. Here we can see Ethan starting to be imported in front of our eyes. And here we are, the standard assets are available. Uh, within the characters, there's a third person character. Within the third person character here, uh, we have prefabs. And there's two prefabs, the AI third person controller and the other one third person controller, which we're going to use today. Let's drag that in and drop them in the middle here. And let's make them a little bigger, two, two, and two for scale. And to make sure we've got everything set up right, let's, uh, let's go and uh, Give it a run and get a little exercise here to begin. Here we are. We can adjust the camera angle later, but you can see that we're working and we're able to run across the scene. So let's stop that. Now let's go in and let's grab the IBM Watson SDK so we can get our speech to text working. Here it is. First one. Let's click on that. And let's import. So this will have uh, the hooks for all of the IBM Watson APIs, speech to text, text to speech. Um, it'll have conversational services, language translation services. Uh, there's some other great videos that, that are out there. Uh, Taj did a series on them that are definitely worth a look if you want to get hooked up. But we're just going to really be doing the very simplest of simple today. Uh, we're going to use example streaming. We're going to drop it in. And uh, the only thing we really need to do to the code here, if all goes well, is uh, grab three simple things. Uh, the username, the password, and the URL. So here's some burner credentials I'm using today. Uh, there's a URL of the endpoint and the username and the password. You get these from IBM Cloud, um, which is free to sign up for. Go in and start an IBM Watson speech-to-text service. Pick the light version, which is the free version, and then just go into service credentials. Uh, there's some other videos that show you how to do that. But that's all you basically need from the IBM Watson Cloud site is to go in, invoke and create the service, the light version of it, and then go and grab those credentials and bring them back here. Well, we've got ours ready. Um, and we can see here that if we've got our Watson installed. So with Watson installed, uh, there's some examples. And within the service examples here, you can see there's get token, example streaming, and service examples. So we're going to use this example streaming. Let's drag it up here. Let's pick our scene. And let's drag example streaming up here. And now we are ready to go. If I double click on example streaming, uh, we're using that script. So let's drop into the example streaming script here and have a look at that. We're going to find an empty spot with a bunch of nulls in it that we're going to need to fix here before we can run and have the system respond to voice. And while that's launching, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab the URL while we're waiting. Let's copy that. And as this comes up, and we'll paste that in where the credentials are. Here we are. Let's replace that with our endpoint. And let's go and grab the other two 
here's username and the password and save that now this is example streaming so if this goes well uh, we should be able to run this code and get some basic um, text showing up on the screen now the text that should show up is on the canvas text streaming here let's bump that up a little bit to 20 and let's run it and see what we get don't know what cam camera angle it is so we might have to adjust that let's have a go hello there how are you that's very good come closer to me and that's me manually controlling with the keys here, but uh, it seems to have worked pretty good. So you can see there in uh, you know about five or six minutes, we built ourselves a little world uh, with a character that's able to run around from the standard assets, and we're able to have the system to respond. Um, and uh, once we have the text utterances here, we can do a lot more with it around having command and control and starting to extract tone and emotion and sentiment and, and uh, do some verbal command and control of the environment. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop this, uh, and I will. Uh, I'll move to part two of the video where we will do a little more interesting and sophisticated things. But thanks for watching. I hope you found some of it useful.